Ashley here from Glow Body Personal Training. Today we are targeting your bra bulge area. So that's the fat that tends to accumulate right here in between um, your shoulder and your bra in that armpit zone. Now there's always going to be some skin there, so you can't completely eliminate the bra bulge, but you can definitely target it. These exercises will also add a little definition to the upper part of your chest, which I will always take. And that is it. So this is the area that I want you focusing on and squeezing on today for all of our exercises. All you need for this workout is your stability ball and then a couple sets of dumbbells. So grab a heavier set, grab a lighter set. I have a range between 5, 10, and 15 pound dumbbells with me today just so I can um, really challenge myself when I feel like it and then drop down when we reach complete burnout. So start with your lightest set of dumbbells for our warm-up exercise. Grabbing my five pound dumbbells and bring them up to a 90 degree hold right here. We call this an L hold. We'll be staying in the L hold for the entire time. So L hold and then bring it up to the side. As you come back in, I want you squeezing your chest. Bring it up to the side, nice and controlled, and squeeze it. Now don't think about pushing out your chest when you come out to the side, but I definitely want you opening your chest, opening up the pex area, and then squeezing it back in. Bring it together for me. Don't let your weights bang in the front because you're practicing some good control right here. Great, now let your arms relax. We're gonna do that one more time. This is just to activate the pecs and get them ready to fire for our main set. Again, you got your 90 degree L hold right here. Bring it up to the side, open up those pecs and squeeze them together, mommy. Good, open them up, squeeze them together. You have great posture here. Warming up those pecs. You might feel that a little bit in your biceps too. Bring it out, and clench it. And three, two, and one more. Good, now get down, grab your heavier weights and I want your back on your stability ball. We're going right into our chest press. So you're looking up at the ceiling and chest pressing up. So this is my heavier set of dumbbells. I have 15s right here. Your heavier set might mean 10 or it might mean 20, who knows? Squeeze it up. Good, now we're thinking about the middle of our chest. So just above the nipple area is where we're really focusing on driving our power from. Bringing it all the way down to 90 and pressing it back up. Good, now for your 10 second hold, I want you to give me little tiny pulses right up here. You're not straining your back at all, you're using your legs and your glutes a little bit to keep your chest up high. Then give me full chest press again. Good. You're breathing, not allowing this to happen with your butt. Again, engaging those glutes. Keep them lifted up a little bit. We don't need a completely flat back, but I don't want you overextending and arching that belly outward. And little tiny pulses. So these are just micro pulses. It's a micro movement that works so well. We're increasing the time under load for your chest right now, giving it that really good burn. This is our last set of chest press, so stick with me. I'm not going to make you do your micro pulses at the end, so just think about this as your very last press. Very last push through chest press. Looking up at your ceiling, not looking at me, and driving those arms up. Pushing them, punching two holes into your ceiling. Get strong, mommy, hang in there. Good, now put those weights down. I want you to grab your lighter weight. So for me, I'm gonna go with five pound dumbbells, and we're going into chest fly. Get that hair out of the way. So the same thing, you're engaging your glutes, you have a little bit of rest for your head right here. Bring your arms down as far as they can and then squeezing them together without banging your weights at the top. Track the chest, squeeze it together, thinking about shortening those muscles at the top and then just rest it down. If you want an extra bonus, you can just hold your arms up just like this. I'm going to rest them down. I might give myself that bonus the next 10 second rest. And here we go, chest fly again. We're doing this for three times in a row. You're breathing well. Again, your gaze is up at the ceiling, bringing those arms down as far as they can and then squeezing them together. Your arms are not locked out. They're in a semi, semi bent position, but you're keeping them in that bent position. You're not getting any 
more bent at the top or more bent at the bottom. So just as a bonus, I'm going to hold my arms up here, getting that extra burn and chest activation. And then we have one more round right here for our chest fly. Stay focused, make sure that each arm is coming down to about the same height, do a little self check. Don't allow your arms to bounce off of your ball either. You're, you're bringing them down low, but not using your ball as a crutch to give them that extra momentum bounce. You know what I'm talking about? Good, now put that down. I want you to put one of your weights down. For this, you're going to want to use a lighter weight. Five to 10 pounds is appropriate. I'm going to start with five pounds. I might move up to 10 pounds. And this is our steering wheel. And bring it back out. So your arms are not parallel to the ground. They're angled up slightly, bringing it out, and give me a little twist on your steering wheel. Back is just reclined against your stability ball. You're nice and in control here. Good, give me a little drive. Awesome, and rest that out. That was round one of three of steering wheel. And again, let's repeat that. So you may have you may already know this if you've done my post-pregnancy plan because I talk about this a lot. I ask you to do stop and do six as far as your Kegel. So that means when you are at a stoplight, I would love for you to stop, do a six second count holding your Kegel, completely relax, and then repeat it again. Now you don't need to keep track of how many rounds you do. You just do these Kegels for the duration of that stoplight. Go ahead and rest. And this is going to help you strengthen your pelvic floor so that we can reduce leaks when you cough or sneeze um, or jump later on <laughs> down the line once the baby has come. But strengthening and healing your pelvic floor is key, both during your pregnancy you wanna be doing this and then definitely postpartum. And, um, and your squats, of course, are key to lengthening the pelvic floor. So we do a lot of those in the 12-week post-pregnancy plan. So if you're sticking to my free prenatal training schedule right now, I've totally got you covered as far as doing all the squats that you need to be doing. Grab your heavier, medium-sized weight. So right now I'm gonna grab my tens, doing incline chest press. Again, keep yourself nice and reclined against your ball. Your gaze is upward. So making sure that this doesn't turn into a shoulder press, so we're not going straight up, we're going slightly forward. And I want you to look right where you are pushing your weight down to. We are deliberately targeting the upper part of your chest right now with this inclined chest press. Good, and rest down completely because that is a hard move to maintain. I want you to have perfect form. You're really good and sturdy against your stability ball. Look at where you're shooting for. It might be the, the top corner of your room where the wall meets the ceiling, but grab your target point and push your weights right towards there. Good. Engage in the upper chest, mommy. You are focused and driven. We have one more round of your incline chest press, and then we're going to stretch out your chest, your pecs, and you'll be on with your day. All right, let's do this. Work it out hard. Even if you are dropping in weights right now, or if you're down to no weights at all, you're still getting a great workout, so lose the judgment. Just give it the best you've got in this finisher exercise. Push it out. Be strong. Don't let it drop when you're out there. You're also going to feel a little bit of shoulder engagement, mostly chest. Good, and put those weights down. You are done. I'm going to have you stretch out, though, really quick with me. To stretch out your pecs, all you need is just a little bit of wall space. So I want you to take your arm and just put it flat against the wall and then open up your chest. Start turning yourself around with your feet until you feel a nice chest all in this bra belt area that we just targeted. We're gonna hold that for about 20 seconds. Now I can't tell you how much your likes, your comments, and subscribing to Glow Body PT really helps my channel. So if you haven't done so already, Please like this video, leave a comment below so I can continue producing free content for you that you really want and helps save you time during your busy life. Go ahead and switch sides. Put your arm, I'm gonna switch sides right here. And then remember to use your feet to walk it open. So we're not twisting our torso so much, it's really opening up our chest. 
And if you haven't downloaded my free prenatal training schedule yet, go ahead and do so because it's completely free. It's awesome as far as keeping you on track and motivated, telling you exactly what workouts to do on which days of the week. Go to glowbodypt.com to get your free download. There we go, that was about 20 seconds. So that is it. I hope that you love this video and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.